Good morning. How should believers treat pastors and elders? We're in 1 Thessalonians 5, where we're looking at verses 12 and 13 today. And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. Be at peace among yourselves. So the Bible is pretty clear here. The Bible is very clear here. Recognize who they are. Who are the leaders? The leaders who are over you and work among you and with you in the Lord. Know who they are. You know, the Bible says all you are brethren, and it's true. But it's also true that God calls particular people to lead. We need to be working together. We need to give space to our leaders and let them lead us. If, if they're going to bend to our will as members every time that we, they say something we don't like and we just say, well, huh, I'm, up, I'm out of here. I don't like this anymore. That's not going to work. But you're, you're not going to be able to mentally or in your heart, you, you're not going to be following a fake spiritual leader. You just psychologically, you can't do it. So you've got to, they've got to be among, it says here, those who labor among you. You need to know them a little bit. And you need to follow as if God is leading them and giving them insights that are helpful for you spiritually, you need to be going with those some of those insights because this isn't just human things. This is a, a spiritual connection between heaven and earth. And so we're called here. Notice what it says. Uh, it's an urgent, you know, we urge you, brethren, recognize those, and we admonish you, you know, those who instruct you and admonish you, pay, pay some attention. And the work of a spiritual leader today is, is, is pretty difficult. The, the, the things are more divided, perhaps, than ever before. There are so many information coming from so many directions. People are caught up in this set of viewpoints and this set of viewpoints and this set of viewpoints. And it, it's pretty tough sometimes to get on the same page with people, at least partway on the same page. And you know, you can't just agree with everything they say because we're going by a Bible view and the Bible is going to come and it's going to judge this person, this person, and this person's views. So we're going to find things that we're, we're out of the plan. So we need to get back to it. So it's a challenge. And your spiritual leaders, they need to be able to spend their energies seeking the Lord and, and really delivering what you need and interacting with you. They shouldn't be out uh, just putting out a bunch of crazy fires set by crazy battles between church members over nonsensical things. And there's plenty of nonsensical things out there. So, so let's do what it says here. Um, esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. Be at peace among yourselves. And I can tell you that's a pretty good plan. That's a pretty good plan. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us, all of us, uh, hopefully, that are watching this, are members of your churches. And so, Lord, be with us in the congregations where we are. Help us to serve you. Help us to learn how to uh, be serving and serve others. Lord, we are thinking today about this passage about spiritual leaders. Help us not to put added burdens or to uh, take time wasting with nonsense with them. Help us to know in some measure their authenticity and help us to support them, Lord. Strengthen our, our leaders, Lord. Strengthen them so that we will be drawn closer to heaven. And help us, Lord. Help us not to fight about silly stuff. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. Help us to be people in the word. And this is our prayer, and we ask for this because of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. So what should we do about our spiritual leaders? Let's esteem them very highly in love, and let's be at peace among ourselves. Sounds like a plan to me. God be with you today, and have a wonderful day.